Welcome to the next part of the CKA Upcoming Changes series, in this part, we will cover pod admission controls and an affinity related questions. The next question is. In the QPROD namespace, configure pod admission controls to enforce default resource requests and limits for containers. The following conditions must be met. In the absence of specified CPU or memory requests and limits, a container should be assigned default values of 200 millicore CPU and 100 megabytes memory for requests, and 400 millicore CPU and 200 megabytes memory for limits. Prevent any container in this namespace from requesting more than 500 miles of memory. Without delay, let's go to the cluster. OK, let's create the namespace first. Let's take the help from the documentation. and search for limit request. We can take this YAML file as the reference. Let's copy and paste to the YAML file. Namespace should be kubeprod. CPU limit should be 400 millicore, and the memory limit is 200 MB. Default memory request will be 100 megabytes and the default CPU request is 200 millicore. We have to add 500 MB here to prevent any container in this namespace from requesting more than 500 megabytes of memory. Perfect our YAML files is ready, let's apply it. Let's check the limit range. Let's describe it. Yes perfect, here we can see, we can't request more than 500 MB memory for a pod in this namespace, same like if we are not specify request and limit then it will assign default values of 200 M CPU and 100 MB memory for requests, and 400 M CPU and 200 MB memory for limits. Ok let's verify this. Let's run a pod in the cube prod namespace.
Our pod is running, let's describe it. Perfect, we can see our pod has got resource memory and CPU request and limit through our policy. Next we need deploy as pod with memory request more than 500 megabytes. Okay, YAML file is ready, let's apply it. Yes it is blocking, we can see the pod is not scheduled because it is requesting more than 500 MB memory. Okay we have successfully completed this task. In the next question we will cover a node affinity related question, thank you. Next question is related with node affinity. Affinity in Kubernetes is used to attract pods to specific nodes based on labels. The next question is, in the Kubernetes namespace prod, create a pod named impod that runs the image in Jinx 1.26.0. Configure node affinity so that the pod prefers to be scheduled on a node with the label AZ equals zone 1, assigning it a weight of 80. Additionally, make the pod also prefer a node labeled AZ equals zone 2 with a weight of 20. If we apply a node affinity as per the question, then Kubernetes to prefer scheduling the pod on nodes labeled availability zone equals zone 1. If nodes in zone 1 are not available, Kubernetes should then prefer nodes labeled availability zone equals zone 2. Without further delay let's go to the cluster. Let's check the namespace. Prod namespace is there, let's go to the documentation and search for affinity. This YAML file is not suitable for us because in our question we have to make the rule based on the weightage, so go to the next YAML.
Yes, this is the YAML file we wanted. Let's copy it. Before that I will show you where the pods will schedule if we are not apply any affinity. By default pods will schedule to node 1, here we can see the pod schedules to node 1, as per the question we have to implement a node affinity, this pod should use node affinity, and prefer during scheduling to be placed on the node with the label x equals zone 1 with a weight of 80, ok let's delete the pods. Next let's check the node's label. Here we can see control plane has label as AZ equals zone 1, and the node 1 has AZ equals zone 2. If we apply a node affinity as per the question, then Kubernetes to prefer scheduling the pod on nodes labeled availability zone equals zone 1. If nodes in zone 1 are not available, Kubernetes should then prefer nodes labeled availability zone equals zone 2. Kubernetes will first try to schedule the pod on zone 1 nodes because they have a stronger weight of 80. If zone 1 nodes are full or unavailable, it will attempt to schedule the pod on zone 2 nodes, which have a lower weight of 20. Ok let's create a YAML file and take documentation for the help. Copy the YAML file and paste it. Name should be imppod, and the name space is prod. Weightage is 80 and key is Arizona. Value should be zone 1. Next we need to make the node affinity for zone 2, so copy the same entry and paste it. Weightage 20 for zone 2. Image should be engine x version 1.26.0. Let's apply the YAML file. Ok let's check the pod status. Yes the pod is running, next check where the pod has scheduled, here we can see it has scheduled on control plane instead node 1, because control plane has more weightage. Congratulations we have successfully completed this task. Thank you for watching this video. We will be back with more scenarios in the next part. Thank you.